Breaking news right now, one man wounded in a shooting on board a BART train in Oakland. And right now, police are combing a train for evidence. Welcome everyone to the four on this Friday afternoon. I'm Heather Holmes and I'm Alex Savage. BART officials just gave us a briefing on this shooting a short time ago. Let's get right to this breaking news and KTV's Christian Captain joining us now live from BART headquarters in downtown Oakland. Christian, what have we learned? Yeah, here's what we know so far that uh, police briefing just wrapped up in about the last five to 10 minutes or so. They tell us that one man was on board that train when he was shot by another man at the Fruitvale station. The suspect we're hearing got off the train at the Fruitvale station. The train then made its way here to the Lake Merritt station where we are right now, right across the street from uh, BART headquarters here in Oakland. That's where that victim received first aid. We also spoke with a witness who was on board that train. Now she did not see the shooting or hear it, but she describes the scene immediately afterwards. We had stopped and we saw someone like running into our cart and then running back away and we were trying to figure out what was happening. There was a little bit of shouting but couldn't really make of it. We kept looking back, people in the car trying to figure out what happened. And and KTV cameras were there as one man was led from this Lake Merritt station to a patrol car where police detained him. A witness tells us that minutes after this incident, uh, minutes after she arrived here at the station, that train was evacuated. And she tells us eventually the entire Lake Merritt station was evacuated. Now, police did not offer her a lot of information at that time. But again, BART police now say that this appears to have been a targeted shooting, not a random attack. Based on the, the video that we have received at this time, uh, we're pretty confident that this was uh, not a random attack. Uh, it appears to be that it was a targeted attack. And as we continue our investigation and we continue to look through video and collect video, uh, that will confirm what we believe happened today. Now, our witness tells us that this was a San Francisco Daily City bound train. Our chopper was able to follow that train, though, which was rerouted to the Richmond Rail Yard since it arrived there in Richmond. We have seen investigators coming and going in and out of that train, presumably looking for evidence. Now, all the scenes, all of this uh, events here unfolded very quickly, but we were fortunate enough to have uh, my colleague Evan Cernovsky, who arrived on scene shortly after all of this uh, uh, was uh, unfolding, Evan. And, uh, first off, about that man that we saw in that car, it now appears that he was not a suspect in this. That's right. When we first got here, it was a very chaotic scene. That man had been detained at gunpoint and was being held in the back of one of those patrol cruisers. But we just learned moments ago from Police Chief Ed Alvarez that that was not the suspect that police are looking for. The suspect was actually at Lake Merritt Station, one stop away. He had opened fire on this person. The train doors closed and the train arrived here. Now, they learned that after going over all of the numerous uh, amounts of security footage and interviews with those witnesses who uh, exonerated that guy that they had. And again, all that happening at the Fruitvale station and the train then making its way here to Lake Merritt. Did it appear to you that the police were looking for additional suspects at that time? Yeah, they were looking for people here, trying to find somebody that matched that description. Now, in the last couple hours, they've been able to review that security footage and see that it is just that one individual at the Fruitvale station who had opened fire. They said it appeared to be a targeted shooting, so there wasn't a risk to the public, but they're still looking for that individual right now. And then last question, Evan, about the victim. That's the one person we haven't heard a lot about. We heard that that person was transported, that man was transported. Have you heard anything? Were witnesses able to tell you anything about that victim's condition? Yeah, one thing we did learn is that victim, they were able to get that person out of here quickly into an ambulance and to Highland Hospital. We also know from the chief that they applied a tourniquet to that person's arm and they hope that that will stop some of the bleeding and allow them to hopefully save this person's life. But right now it's still touch and go according to the chief. A person's in serious condition. All right, Evan Sarnowski, great details. Thank you so much for that uh, offering those details there. Again, uh, police now say that they're searching for one suspect who was able to get off that train at the Fruitvale station. The victim able to make his way here to the Lake Merritt station. That is again where uh, we're hearing from the BART police chief that a BART police officer was able to get to that victim within a minute and a half of them arriving here to apply a tourniquet to that man's arm. They're hoping to save his arm. At this point though, uh, the police did say that that victim had 
been transported suffering from life-threatening injuries. It now seems that uh, that victim could possibly recover. We will continue to monitor developments here. As a matter of fact, I just asked uh, BART Police Chief Ed Alvarez to stand by. We're going to re-interview him, try to find out a little bit more detail on this story and bring those to you uh, throughout the evening. Uh, but for now, we're live in Oakland at the Lake Merritt BART Station. Christian Kafton, KTVU. Fox 2 News. Yeah, obviously, though, a very unsettling situation for all of those people on BART today. Uh, Kristen, thank you.